hello queens and welcome back to another video if you guys are new to my channel my name is queen esther but you can call me queen for short and i am the creator of queen she me here on my channel i feature natural hair lifestyle and beauty content and today's video is actually going to be pretty much like a mixture of all three because i'm going to be sharing with you guys my recent or most current favorites i should say and i used to do these videos all the time when i first started out on youtube and then I just simply got away from it. So I was just like, you know what? It's some products that I've been using and have been loving for a good amount of time now. Like some of these products I've been using for some months. And then some of these products are just like recently like I've just become obsessed with. Definitely make sure that you are subscribed down below. Just hit the red button down below. And then make sure that you tap the bell so that we can be notified when I upload new content here on my channel. Okay? Also, listed down below in the description box, you will also find my um, social media networks. Okay? So, if you're interested, everything's listed down below in the description bar. And let's get right into today's current favorites video. Alright, Queen. So, let's just get right into it. So, first thing is... Um, let's see. First of all, let's get into the smoothie, you guys. Like, I don't go to Tropical Smoothie Cafe all the time because it's just like one of those places where I go for a treat. But if you guys watch my video where I talk about 20 plus foods for healthy hair growth, I'll leave that listed down below. Definitely check that out. And I'm having the Detox Island Green Smoothie, and I love this one. It has spinach, kale. Um, I think it has mango, ginger in it. Definitely, that's why I get it. And it has something else in there. If I forgot it, I will leave it on the screen here. But yeah. Yeah, so this has been like one of my favorites as well so I just wanted to mention it really quickly and yeah it's really good it's healthy and it's filling and this is my breakfast actually um I got this probably almost like two hours ago but it's still cold so delicious okay <laughs> all right so let's continue on so let's just go ahead and just start with just skincare and this is like one of those old school products that I used to use all the time this is from the brand Queen Helen and y'all don't mind my clearance sticker because y'all know I'm a clearance junkie and this is the mint julep mask it's a complexion solution that deeply cleans and refreshes your skin now and it says here it's specifically for oily and acne prone skin so this is definitely why I picked it up off of the clearance aisle and plus two I was looking for another mask to try out because a lot of my high-end ones I have ran out of I simply just started going back to products that are just like low maintenance inexpensive but will work for my skin and so this is from Queen Helen and I just love this one it really does smell like mint and I'm just not I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like really quickly but yeah, as you guys can see it really does have that minty green look and it has a minty smell as well so if you don't like mint spearmint this probably will not be for you because it is strong but I love it now when I say strong it doesn't mean that it's strong on the skin it actually does have a cooling effect which I like and it helps to minimize your pores so um I don't use this every day actually because it will for me it kind of dries my skin out I notice or maybe I'm just probably using my water a little bit too warm but either way I don't use this one daily I probably use this every other day or as needed but I really do like it and again this is for oily and acne prone skin and this is the queen helen mint julep mask yeah you guys one of those og favorites that i used to use all the time growing up because let me just be real like growing up single parent my mom was you know and everything like that raising two kids and yeah mama ain't finna be spending all them dollars to try to help you know she wanted to make sure your skin is right but baby you gotta watch some coins so yeah queen helen was one of those ones i used to use all the time back in the day so continuing on with skincare, this one is from my curl kit and this is where I got this one from and this is the Nubian Heritage African Black Soap Facial Wash and Scrub Anti-Acne and Clarifying face wash whoo that's a mouthful but y'all i love this stuff i intentionally kept this so i can show you guys because i wanted to use it all the way up alexa has helped me use this she loves it so i'm telling you guys i love this so i'm so happy curl kid put this in one of our curl kits a few months ago and i just fell in love with it it does actually have um pieces of black soap in there i don't know if y'all can see that 
so that's actual pieces of the african african black so so that's where you get the scrubbing effect from so there's no light added extra ingredient to actually give you that exfoliant effect it's the actual african black soap itself just little pieces of it that they pretty much you know just shave down off of the bar soap and incorporated it into the facial wash and i love it a little bit goes a long way it does not dry the skin out surprisingly because i used to use african black soap growing up a lot and i had to stop because it would dry my skin out but now that i'm older a lot more mature um, i have combination skin as well and so i love this one and it really does help with actually clearing up like your skin it really does make your skin very very bright as you guys can tell my skin looks very very bright besides the fact that i drink a lot of water you know that's very important but i also to use another product that um a lot of people probably wouldn't use but yeah i really do like this one from nubian heritage and i'm gonna have to get a new one of these because this thing is empty and alexa was literally squeezing the last itty bitty trap out of it yesterday so um yeah i really do like this one this has really been an obsession for like the last about three months or so whenever we got this in the curl kit i'll leave the link listed up above and that's how long ago it's been because um i've been using it that long and i just really really do like it so yeah y'all um definitely check this out again this is from nubian heritage and this is the african black soap facial wash and scrub i really really did like this and enjoyed it i really did Continuing with skincare now, y'all know I love Burlington. I live in Burlington, like pretty much Burlington, Ross, um, and Marshalls. Yeah, and um, TJ Maxx especially. I really like to go in there, especially if you look for high end skincare. You can definitely get like more bang for your buck there versus going to like Sephora or Ulta if you're looking for a way to save some coins. So this one is from the brand called Wellness Blends, and I have been seeing this in Burlington for a couple months, and I was just like, you know what, I'm gonna hold off. I got some other products that I have been using and so ran out and so went in there and they had this one in particular and this is the face serum and this is the hyaluric acid essential oil blend and it's the hydrating formula now I know y'all said girl acid and it's just like no it's not necessarily like that oh, I hope you guys can see the words but yeah and this is what the packaging looks like I really really do like this product it really is a moisturizing hyaluric acid if you guys can see that it really is like an oil when I was using the Sunday Riley um, UFO serum it has hyaluric acid well this one says hyaluronic acid so that one's hmm y'all just realized that hyaluronic acid yeah so this one probably more than likely works differently than the other one unless i'm just pronouncing it wrong but yeah so i like this one in particular because it has helped with like bouncing out my skin if you guys can tell like my face does have like a shine a sheen like a dewy look to it but that's because i use this product and i only use about four to six drops depending on how my skin feels after i get done washing my face so it varies day to day i don't use the exact same amount every day again because it varies this one contains um safflower cottonseed argon olive jojoba and coconut oil and then of course the hyaluronic acid as well and it does say a perfume but i don't smell anything in here unless i just really haven't taken the time out to check that out but i really do like it oh yeah it has like a little soft fragrance but it's not much but yeah i really do like it it is an essential oil blend and y'all know i love essential oils i live for essential oils and that's what i use primarily on my skin besides like butters i've been using this been for probably about two to three weeks now you know and i only use it once a day so yeah definitely check this out and this is from the brand called wellness blend if i can find a link to it i will leave it linked down below so we're going to continue on and this is the Pond's Clarent B3 Dark Spot Correcting Cream. Now, I'm a fan of Pond's. I've used Pond's off and on for probably about the last, I should say about two to three years as well. And I like the one that you can use to actually remove your makeup with. That one is clutch. I don't care. If you have oily skin, forget that. It doesn't matter. It's going to melt your makeup off and you're not going to worry about clogged pores, baby. You just put that on there, slather it on. <laughs> and take a makeup remover and take it off it's it works like wonders so this one in particular 
diminishes dark spots and it evens the skin tone and it says for normal to dry skin now i have oily combination skin and so i didn't notice that when i first purchased it so the first couple of days i was noticing i was getting breakouts but that's because the product was just doing what it was supposed to do and it's supposed to moisturize your face and i was using it in conjunction with this oil so i was using the same amount about four to six drops of this and then i was using this on top of it because that's what i typically do anyways but because this was so moisturizing I didn't need to use as much so I started reducing how much I was putting on my face in conjunction with the actual serum so I put the serum on first and then this cream so um I would actually put about probably like four drops of this um, serum on because you have to actually get it to like kind of melt down in your hand in a sense and then you can get it to like massage into your face and I would do this strictly right after you get done washing your face in the shower or outside the shower immediately put it on when your skin is soft and it's like open so it can actually receive that oil and you don't have to put as much on so then I put this on and I probably put like not even a dime size amount literally like right here 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 and here and then I rub it in and then that's it and so I try not to use the oil too much because again I do have oily skin but then I do need to make sure that it is moisturized at the same time so you have to learn how to work with your skin especially when you have again oily to combination skin like myself but I've been using this product again this is the Clarent B3 dark spot correcting cream from Pons and I've been using this product now for probably about a whole month and I've noticed that a lot of my dark spots have actually faded so let me zoom you guys in so you can see really quickly yeah so a lot of my dark spots have like started to fade because I still get breakouts so I'm typically going to still have like dark spots but I've noticed like they've really like calm down a lot and then also too i've been noticing like i'm not having a whole lot of breakouts either so i'm just happy about that yeah y'all i've been bare skinning it a lot lately like i literally have like i really have not been playing in my makeup or anything like that i don't know just really just in a whole nother flow right now and so yes yeah, so i really have been enjoying this from pines i would highly recommend you guys pick it up and try it out because this is dope i really did enjoy it you know my plan on continuing to use it it does have a light scent a very very light scent but you guys can see i've been using it and again very little goes a long way and this only costs a dollar fifty at dollar general so you need to go into dollar general because y'all know if you follow me over on instagram Instagram if you follow me over on Instagram then y'all already know that pretty much I'm in there every single day almost out the damn week because we always forgetting something but you find those little deals and I needed a new moisturizer and I found that one right on time so that was perfect super duper perfect so I'm going to keep it riding with the last two things for like beauty skincare or whatever and this is the Gucci Bloom perfume oh my gosh you guys I have been wearing the hell out of this since I received it in um well I didn't receive this full size one from Sephora Playbox but um I did get the sample size and I used the whole damn thing and babe loved how it smelled I loved how it smelled and it just smells so good so this is a rollerball so yeah this was about $33 but I've had this since last year and it's still full like super duper full and i use this like almost literally every single day and i just i haven't even put on any today so i'm happy to put some on right now for you guys and i just dab some right here and right here and i do like that and then i'm one of those girls where i dab it on you know and then like if i'm gonna put any more on i put it on my skin i never put my perfume on my clothes because it can't stain your clothes so you never want to do that i fuss a babe all the time about that sorry babe put you out there but yeah do not do that you guys do not spread directly on your clothes put it on your body that's what it's for perfume is for your body so you can smell good it's supposed to go with your body chemistry not the you know fresh laundry scent of your clothes no Put it on your body, put it on your skin, and I love this one from Gucci Bloom. It has such a nice floral scent. Y'all know I'm a floral girl all day long, 24-7, 369. And y'all, I just really love this perfume. It just really just makes me feel warm and bubbly and flowy and like I'm just blossoming, like I'm just blooming. Like it really does. So if you haven't tried this one, go to Sephora, go to Ulta, especially Nordstrom's, Macy's, wherever you like to shop, definitely go and check it out. I'm telling you guys. I love this Gucci Bloom. It smells so good. So thank you guys so much for getting this for me because she knew 
Like, y'all know I don't like to spend a lot of money. So, I'm not mad at no rollerball because I'm not going to pay all that money in the store. I don't believe in that. I don't wear a whole lot of it. So, there's no need to. Okay, and then lastly, um, of course, is my Fenty Beauty um, Gloss Balm. Everybody loves the Gloss Balm. I love the Gloss Balm. Y'all know when it first dropped, I went, we went and got it. Like, it's, we're going to get that. So, I'm so happy, and that's what I'm wearing today. I just put it on top of my lips. I haven't been really using lip liner at all either. I've just really just been doing the whole natural, just bare, just me look. Like, and i just been loving it. And so, yeah, so I love this one. I love the scent. It smells so freaking good. Of course, everyone knows what the gloss bomb looks like but i want to share it here with you guys because i just love it so much and it is it's just one of those shades one of those glosses that you can put on no lippy a lip liner it doesn't matter bare lips this even works as chapstick if you just want to be real about it okay now if you got them super crusty lips that's not gonna work but if it looks a little chap throw this on i'm telling you it's moisturizing as well as not drying for me it's not sticking on my lips um if you don't put a whole lot on i don't feel like you need to put a whole lot on but i really do like the Fenty, bon Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm. It's just like one of my favorites that I've just been using since last year when she released it. So yeah, so that's pretty much it for my skincare and everything like that. Alright queens, I'm going to keep it rolling. So I guess we'll go into hair care and body care I guess because the only body care that I have to share and that's pretty much why I'm filming this because it's, it's, um, it's pretty much empty now. Um, This is from Honey Baby Naturals and this is the Honey Nectar Body Jelly words cannot express how much I love this body jelly like when we went to the Mississippi Natural Hair Expo I was excited that they was there because I had not used Honey Baby Naturals like at all so I went you know and I got to meet Steph I got to meet my girl you know hey boo and it was such a good time and I got to meet Aisha I got to learn more about the brand and this was the first thing she pointed to, but I had already had my eye on. As soon as I walked over, I was like, look at that body jelly. I didn't even think anything about hair. I thought body jelly. I was like, that's my up my alley. Like, that's all the way up my alley. And, y'all, it's a 10-ounce container. I think we paid like $10 for it. I'm not sure of how much it costs full price, but i don't care like i'm going to get some more of this okay i have been using this all april 2018 this is why it's empty even bae has been using it with me so it just goes to show you that two people can use this um her daughter has like eczema and i have some as well but it's been like it's been clearing up over like the last couple years since i've been you know changing my lifestyle around but i noticed with this honey baby naturals it is the truth I, and i have to say that like it literally is like places where i typically would be like itchy especially on my back for whatever reason it ceased like as soon as i started using this product and you don't have to use a whole lot because it is a jelly it is like moisturizing like if you're not one of those people where you like to let stuff sink into your skin this is not for you. you you have to be patient okay like i put this on directly out of the shower when my skin is like just freshly patted down and i get right to it and i moisturize my whole body from my neck down literally and that has what's been keeping my skin moisturized and so it says our ultra moisturizing ultra hydrating blend of honey nectar shea butter and coconut oil work to soothe and protect extremely dry skin this should need 100 patrol latum free formula works to create a protective layer over your skin while providing extreme moisturization leaving soft and supple glowing skin this honey sweet jelly is quickly absorbed and works to replenish and restore the skin throughout the day the hair and scalp moisturize which helps to protect helps and protection from dry and flaky skin let me just show you guys how it works okay so i'm gonna put this down so this is my arm here bam and then you just look at that look at how moisturizing that is and then that's all that it takes that is literally all that it takes and see my elbow gets dry here all that my inner arm gets dry i used to have a really dry patch here and it's completely gone it used to be i used to think it was a scar but i guess it was just from eczema for scratching all those years when i was growing up but yeah i use a lot of um jellies butters to help keep my skin moisturized and this honey nectar body jelly is the truth i really love the scent it is so soft 
it smells like honey like y'all probably like girl you just spray that stuff on but it goes well with that um perfume if you just want to be real it really smells nice I love this product. I vouch for this product. And I haven't talked about anything I really purchased from the expo. But this product is a staple. It's a staple. And I've been to the beach every weekend for the last month. And I put this on before I go out there. Sunburn who? And again, this is the Honey Nectar Body Jelly. I love it. I mean, I'm sorry, I know I've raved about it probably for a few minutes now, but I love this product. I really, really do. So, I would highly recommend you pick it up. You need to get your hands on it, like, literally, like, oh, my gosh, look at that. <laughs> okay, you guys, so let's keep this train rolling because I got all excited about that because I've been really wanting to share it with you guys, and I just did. So, next is another favorite you guys already know about, and this is from Luster's Pink. Yes, so when Curl Kid had the Luster's Pink um, takeover featuring the Shea Butter Coconut Oil Collection, the Smooth and Hold Edge Gel, I have used this every single way I could possibly think, okay? I have used this for flat twists, buns, I mean top knot, low buns, my two pigtails, one single pigtail, ponytail, I mean this stuff is the truth. You talking about being laid it's laid like, it doesn't build up it's no need to build up because you don't need to use a whole lot y'all probably like damn it's gone but it's still some around in there in the bottle <laughs> it's still some in here but this has been the truth this is what we have been using every single day now i didn't use it in this week when i washed my hair y'all have seen me use this you've seen the review y'all seen the people talk about it i mean this is one of their favorite this is one of people's favorite products from their new um collection from the revamp like i really 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 do like it and again this one contains shea butter coconut oil and it also has castor and argon oil so if you have not tried this i don't know what you're waiting on you should have been tried it you should have tried it when I shared that review because this is the truth, okay? All right, so moving on. So I used these two products in a recent wash and go, and I already have a review on these two products and how they work, but I have not actually shown you guys how I have used it to achieve a wash and go. But if you follow me on Instagram, you saw it. I talked about it. These two products gave me... The wash and go of a lifetime for almost seven days, I should say. And I should say it was seven days, actually. It really was. So this is the Cantu Shea Butter for Natural Hair Moisturizing Curl Activator Cream. I love this stuff. So you, you can use this by itself just to even set and style your hair. So I love this. And then I use on top of it the um, Define and Shine Custard, which it does. Now... This one because it acts like an actual curl cream styler and it's a it's a curl activator cream like it states but it puts you in the state of like one of those curl defining creams like you know like for example um shea moisture um uh, like those type of creams those type of styling products and i went on top of it with the again define and shine custard this is like ridiculous it's a custard but it looks like a gel like, look at that. Y'all see how it's moving around in the container? Like, it's crazy. The scent is phenomenal. If y'all have smelled Cantu Beauty's products, y'all know the scent across the board is insane. Like, I love it. I love consistency, and that's a biggie for me when I'm using a collection. And this has really just been, like, a hell yeah. Like, all 20 summer, eight, summer 2018. This is going to be my go-to for wash and go. So I am going to come to you guys with an actual video on how to do it. I'm not going to do another review of the products, but I'm just going to simply show you guys how I achieved another pop and wash and go with a, some new Diva Curl. Y'all, this Wash Day Wonder pre clean Slip Detangler is bae. It's off the chain. I got this from Influencer, you guys. It is so freaking dope. It's worth it. It's no credit card required. And I love this Diva Curl Wash Day Wonder pre-slip detangler because it's light. All they have to do is just soak your hair down, put this on there, finger your finger detangle your life away. You don't need a comb. Just use your fingers that God gave you. <laughs> and just simply detangle your hair and then follow with a shampoo. Go ahead with your shampoo and I'm telling you, you're going to have some nice soft silky feeling moisturized curls okay do you hear what i'm saying so if you want to see that review i'll leave a link up above but i really do like it i've used this about three or four times now and i really really do like it and i still have a good amount left 
too and the scent is awesome so definitely check out that review it's gonna be linked up above and down below in the description bar all right so the last thing i have pretty much for hair care is the my l organics my l organics mint almond oil and everyone knows about this oil i was introduced to this oil in particular and pretty much this brand from um yolanda renee y'all know i love yolanda renee that's bae that's my boo like yo yo eats like y'all come on now like who doesn't love yolanda renee like she is a mommy she's a boss she's an entrepreneur and i just love her spirit and her tenacity y'all like she is lit okay and yeah so i love this oil in particular because you can use it on your scalp and you can use it to set and style your hair and um as of lately y'all know i have been battling with some itchy ass scalp i don't know what's been going on but it is not going to defeat me and so i've been using this again on my scalp and i've been using this actually with the mixture of like jamaican black castor oil but primarily i have been using this oil for probably like the last three to four months and i've had this product now for almost two years but um because i interchanged my products you guys um yeah i pretty much don't ever run out of anything too much in particular probably except for oils but i really do like this one in particular i love my yellow granite products y'all know i have two other reviews using some of her products as well when she released those last year for the honey and ginger collection um it's really one of those oils was worth it and you do not have to use a lot you do not have to use a lot of this oil so do not use a lot of it okay there's no need to you don't need to create any kind of product buildup, but it stays out on here. You do not have to put a whole lot on there. It's not necessary. Just put some on there and massage your scalp to melt the oil down, you know, to your hand and onto your scalp and let it do its thing. And I really do like it. So, yeah, it does help to um, promote healthy hair and scalp. And I even notice, like, on my edges, like, this here is still, like, the same, but, it's, but I'm happy that it stayed the same and it hasn't gotten worse. So let it stay the same or get better, but let it not get worse. So I'm happy about that, and I'm just happy that I revisited this product again from my L Organics. And this is the Mint Almond Oil. Love it, you guys. And it smells good. Oh, it smells awesome. 